everything they told you. You're my son. Wesley looks in the mirror and sees Fox behind him. He asked her if what Cross said was true. Yes. It turns out Cross is the best assassin the Brotherhood has had in 8,000 years. All of the men sent after him before were killed. So the organization had to find someone he couldn't kill. And that person could only be his son. Everything that happened before was a lie that Sloan told him. Fox knew the truth. And now she's going to kill Wesley. It hurts too much. But he can't die yet. Wesley smashed the window, falling into the cold river with his dead father. And when he wakes up again, the craftsman was waiting in the house. This is the house where Cross lived before he died. It's a wall away from Wesley's rented house. It was then that he realized his father had been watching over him. From the craftsman, after Cross left the Brotherhood, Sloan found Wesley. Every time they met and fought before, Cross was just targeting the other members. The shot to his arm was a deliberate clue. The reason Cross left the Brotherhood is because he found out that Sloan had started faking his targets for personal gain years ago. Cross's name never came up in the first place. The name that did appear was Sloan's own. Wesley knew the power of the enemy to get his revenge. He used Maltesers to invite a million of his friends to the trash heap. Early the next morning, Wesley drove his rubbish truck into the textile factory. After the car door was opened, there were densely packed rats, and the rats were all planted with time bombs. And when the time was up, all the rats that had gotten into the corners were detonated. The textile factory was nearly blown up. Wesley wanted to see his body alive and dead. He burst into Sloan's office, calling out his name. Little did he know that a group of killers were already in place. He waited until Sloan came out slowly. Only then did Wesley pull out the tapestry with Sloan's name on it. Sloan didn't deny it in the face of hard evidence, but instead took out a folder. Inside was a piece of fabric. Except Wesley. Everyone's name was listed. If I had not done what I did, you would all be dead. I saved your life. Now they had two choices. Either follow the rules of the Brotherhood, turn the guns on themselves, or shoot Wesley, and then use their ways and their power to take the lead of assassins to godlike heights. Now any fool knows what the choice is. But just before they do, Fox gave a small smile. Then the hand that held the gun snapped. The bullet slices through the room in a perfect circle, passing through the brains of all the killers. Before the bullet could hit herself, she throws the gun to Wesley in the middle, and then calmly accepts her death. By the time Wesley had recovered from his shock, Sloan had already taken advantage of the chaos to escape. And what's worse, Sloan had taken his eight-figure savings. With no money, Wesley went back to being a hard-working man. Until one day soon after, a gun was put to the back of his head. This is not me. This is just the motherfucking decoy. Wesley finally got his revenge. He went from being a loser to ending the Brotherhood himself. And what have you done for yourself lately?